So moving on to the nest removal, uh, I will say this, this nest was a little more aggressive uh, than the nest we encountered in 2020. Could be a number of reasons for this, uh, but in general, um, they were more interested in what we were doing, whereas the nest in 2020, they barely paid us any mind. Uh, we were able to uh, do the eradication the morning of the 25th, which was yesterday. And uh, we used the same procedure of vacuum extraction. It had to be modified slightly. Um, the nest was not located uh, high up in a tree this time. It was at the base of a rotten alder tree. And actually it wasn't even a, a tree anymore. It was a, a snag. It was a tree that had snapped off in a storm a few years back and was in pretty advanced uh, stage of decomposition. And uh, the hornets had uh, started making a nest right at the base of the tree. And in fact, we're excavating portions of the tree to uh, make the cavity larger uh, when, when it was discovered. Uh, upon starting our vacuuming, uh, unfortunately, uh, because the tree was so rotted away, the hornets were able to uh, exploit this and create a second opening and did come out. Uh, our safety gear uh, worked very well in this instance. Uh, uh, a few of us who were working very tight in the area uh, were approached by the hornets and they did actually attempt to sting us this time. Uh, but we're all very happy to say that our, our hornet suits uh, worked very well and no injuries were sustained. Uh, we responded to this by blocking off the second entrance and which stopped them from coming out and then uh, using an insect net to uh, net those that had escaped out of the air. and. Uh, uh, basically, we were able to complete our extraction uh, just within a few hours. Uh, the nest itself uh, was examined uh, at the, uh, the Bellingham Extension Office uh, in a controlled environment. And the nest had nine combs, which is, you know, a few more than the one from last year. In those combs, we found 292 eggs, 422 larvae. 563 cap cells, so these are um, hornets that were about to be produced. 195 workers were either vacuumed or netted out of the air during the extraction, and no males were collected as any part of this, and one queen, uh, totaling uh, 1,473 individual life stages. Uh, to contrast that with the nest that we uh, eradicated in October of 2020, uh, that one had approximately 500 life stages. So this one was almost three times the size and this early in the year. So we're, we are all very thankful uh, that the uh, property owners and um, were able to let us get in there and handle it right away. And uh, for the original report uh, from the landowners who reported the, the first sighting. And uh, we continue to ask people just to, whenever you see them, go ahead and report it. It really does help the cause and it does allow us to get in there and do our jobs very quickly. So 